YouTube, welcome back. I've been super busy, guys. I apologize. I haven't been able to do news videos for you guys. So as you guys know, I do buy a rack dinar now going forward. And we have a we have another platform where we are analyzing news at a much deeper, thorough level. Okay, because of the difficult challenges right now in really understanding Iraq's news. Their their news is very misleading. Okay, so again, right here near the top right corner of the main home screen, there's a Patreon link. You can click on that and go right to the Patreon channel. All right, guys, again, welcome back. Let's look at the news. So right now, per Iraq Central Bank, Central Bank website, the dinar against the dollar is still at a rate of 1,460 per dinar. And then let's look at some of the Iraq news. Okay. So, statement by the commander in chief about the foreign withdrawal from Iraq and the bombing of the military force bases. So, here they're talking about that the schedule for the withdrawal of foreign forces is determined by the technical committees. It's important to them to get. They want to get uh, foreign forces out, okay, to be a sovereign nation. There is a schedule for the withdrawal forces during periods to be determined after the meeting of the technical committee that was deserved, that was formed by the commander-in-chief and the armed forces, okay? So again, they're working to, ju to get foreign forces out. Now guys, here's, here's where the news gets very interesting. See, you had the... Iraq told us, right, this, this is an older article from April 1st. They told us that they want to get the reforms implemented. Now, they really only talked about it this one time. Okay, They just said, hey, we're working to implement the reforms. They spoke about it once and have not spoken about it since. Okay, And again, this was, this was April 1st, immediately after the budget. And now, right after that, guys, now all the daily articles coming out are coming out telling us that the exchange rate will remain stable where it's at for many years. Okay, Parliamentary Finance Committee suggested that the current price of the dollar would remain for years. It'll re so the current rate of 1460 will remain where it's at for years while indicating that the central bank's ability to correct its current price in the market and prevent it from increase. So they're going to keep it basically locked where it's at. The current exchange rate of 1460 against the dollar and determined by the central bank may last for years as it cannot be reduced or changed because the budget was calculated off of it. Okay, so they're telling right here, it has to remain where it's at for at least the full duration of the 21 budget because the budget was calculated off of it. So right there, they're telling you the budget probably won't change during the duration of the 21 budget because it was calculated off of it. Parliamentary finance expects the current pr current dollar price to remain for years. Parliamentary Economic Investment Committee confirmed that the treatments of the exchange rate increase the need they need time in order to achieve stability. So they're saying the exchange rate needs to remain where it's at for a good good duration of time in order for it to achieve stability in the market. Deputy talks the fate of the provincial councils a continuous postponement until the amendment. So they're telling you that you're probably going to uh, delay and postpone the elections until they get the election law amended. And they want to add five amendments to it. One is they want to reduce the parliamentary members in half. There are no government indicators to return the dollar's price to its previous era. And guys, all these articles, by the way, are from today, the 24th. There are no indications to restore the exchange rate to its previous value of 1190, according to existing data. We do not see in Parliament efforts to restore the exchange rate to its previous area of 1190. Parliamentary Finance Committee expects the dollar price to remain for years. Parliamentary Finance Committee expected on Saturday the current price of the dollar would remain for years, while it indicated the central bank's ability to increase the current, the parliamentary bank's ability to control its current price in the markets to prevent it from increasing further. Parliamentary Economic Investment Committee confirmed that the treatments of the exchange rate would increase, need time to achieve stability. So there's, in that last highlight, they're saying they have to keep the rate where it's at of 1460 for a long time in order for it to achieve stability in the Iraqi market. 
They also told you a little ways up in red that the right there that the that the rate cannot be changed or reduced because the budget was calculated off of it. Iraqi markets on the brink of collapse after floating the dinar. The state's tendency to float the currency would raise the dollar. So if they're telling you here if they float the currency, it's going to devalue the dinar against the dollar. That would decrease the confidence in the Iraqi dinar and increase prices. Will harm large segments of the people. So they're saying floating the dinar will reduce the value of it, increasing the cost of goods and services, and impact the people worse. Other experts believe that financial reality prevents the currency from being, even being able to float. So other experts feel that the currency will not be able to float. The current price of the Iraqi dinar against the U.S. dollar, it will continue, the current value of 1460 will remain for a long time. And a full currency float may occur in the future, Finance Minister Ali Alawi stated. So they're telling you, they keep telling you from many angles that they can't float the dinar because it will actually further reduce the value of the dinar against the dollar. And that the rate, the current rate of 1460, that the budget was calculated off of it. And that it will remain there for a long time to achieve stability within the Iraq market. In this article, it says, uh, demanding to stop the disastrous economic decisions, wisdom forces that foiled the interrogation of the session of the central bank governor to protect him. Ministry of Planning announced an increase in inflation to 5% with high poverty rates. So here they're telling you devaluing the currency has increased Iraq's inflation to 5%, causing high poverty rates within this, within the, to the citizens. Parliament needs to be held accountable for the disastrous decisions for the country. So there you guys go. They're telling you that, uh, again, they only spoke about the reforms one time, saying that, they, that they're implementing the reforms, and they haven't continued telling you that they're implementing the reforms. And right now, all the articles coming out are telling you that the current rate of 1460 is what is preferred and most suitable for a long period of time for Iraq's economy. So again, guys, don't forget... We can help you with a lot of this misleading, confusing news right here over on Patreon, okay? There's a link up here on, the, on my main YouTube channel right there in the, top, in the top right corner. Right there in the top right corner, Patreon. And we can help you understand all this, guys, because it's very misleading, it's very confusing, and it's very discouraging, okay? So there's the daily news for you guys. I hope you guys have a great, enjoyable weekend. Be safe. Take care. Have a great day.